Welcome to Kentucky Brew Review. My name's Prairie Dog. I'm Special K. And I'm the Mingo. And tonight we're finally doing that Szechuan sauce from McDonald's. Now our McDonald's was sold out of it, but I happen to have one in the refrigerator here. Um, so we have one packet of Szechuan sauce. Actually, a funny story, we all went out, wait, you weren't with us, but we went out to get uh, the session. we had it the first time. And so <laughs> they only had one store in the entire Louisville area that had it. They had 20 packets, some douchebag came in and bought them all. Like, like when they, they opened, really, even yeah. though the directive was sell them at two. Yep. And I was like sitting around for some reason still. I don't know why. All right, because we have our high class food, we're going to have some high class beers. We actually all have fairly expensive beers. I've got Country Boy Halfway Home. That's right, a bell. You've got got um, Vine Street Junction IPA. Yeah, Vine Street. That's a local brewery. It's uh, it's five point nine. Yep. And you've got uh, PC Pills by Founders, which is delicious. Sixty five IPA by IBA. All right. So we've all had the Sashman before. What? And we've got our McNugs here, and we got some other sauce. There's no hot mustard, bro. What the fuck's up with that? Yeah, that's I what know. I was saying. Man, was this like... McNugs is really dropping the ball. All right, they need to be dropping these nuggies in our mouth. <laughs> All right. So uh, it looks like like teriyaki. Neg negative uh, amounts of carbonation of on this bitch. Yeah. If you if you put it up in the light though, it's got a lovely little amber color. Mm -hmm. It smells. Uh... Here you go. You can lift that. Yeah, it smells like a tastes like a teriyaki. It smells like teriyaki. Yeah. I mean. It's nothing special. Everybody grab them some nugs. We need some broccoli and rice. Let's go with this teriyaki chicken. Yeah, get a nug. I want the little yeah, boot yeah, you shape. You gotta get the boot You gotta get the boot shape. <laughs> they got boot and rice. They have little handles so you can dip almost all of it in all the right, sauce. I'll get my nug dip first. Get, get, get a good thick one in there. You get you Ooh. a good thick. A thicky thick. With three C's. We could have got the... Um, we could have got the uh, strips, but the nugs are the way to go. Oh, definitely. They're all almost always sold out of the strips everywhere yeah. that I go to. So. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a taste. Hmm. Um, it tastes like teriyaki. It tastes like I was telling uh, Mingo this earlier. Like I've had it before. It kind of reminds me. I don't like it on the nuggets, but I feel like it would be good like if it was marinated, like you marinated a piece of chicken in and then cooked it and then some of the sauce cooked off. Mm -hmm. I think it's got a weird chemical undertone to it. It's not like the worst thing I've ever had. What do you think? No, no, I, I enjoy it with the nuggies. I think, you know, it, it's good. Um, the fries, not so much because I tried that not the first time I had it. Um, however, I don't think the hype lived up for what the actual product is. I mean, I had it when it originally came out, um, and I was younger, so I don't honestly don't remember it too much. But I remember, go, I remember going back to the hot mustard. Okay. I remember that, so I clearly didn't like it that much. I will say, normally if I'm getting chicken nuggets, my go-to is spicy buffalo. Uh, that being said, I've got the most radical stance on this sauce. I think it's fantastic. I think it's worth nine seasons. I think that it should be everybody's story arc. Absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of people have hated on it, saying it tastes like, you know, BS teriyaki and all that, but, man, I think it serves exactly the purpose it was designed for. Like, it's really good with the chicken nuggets, which is what you're supposed to have it with. It makes it taste like teriyaki. I mean, it's, it's not a substitute for actual Chinese food, but it's McDonald's. Come on. I think it should be added permanently to the menu because it gives the option where, man, what if you're going with your family, you felt like getting some Chinese food. You can finish that sauce. Oh, I'll, 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 I will. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't disagree with you. It should be a permanent menu option. However, I'm gonna go ahead and rate it. Um, it's a five. It's in the middle of the road for me, and that's it's average. It's not good. It's not bad. It's there. I wouldn't get it again. I would literally pick uh, every other sauce over it. Hot mustard is king, um, but then like buffalo, and then honey mustard, and then barbecue's on my low because it's, it's just barbecue. But you may go. Sweet and sour, though. Where is that? Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't really eat sweet and sour that much. I don't either. My mom mixes the barbecue and the sweet and sour together. And That's interesting. It. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> barbecue. I'm going to go with the six. Um, you know, it's definitely above average. Um, there are definitely sauces that I would I would uh, choose this over. But at the same time, it's not hot mustard. So. Um. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it an 8. I really think it's really tasty. It's very different from the other sauces. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Um, Nuggies. I just like the fact that I like when restaurants mix up and have new sauces. It's mm -hmm. nice. Um, 
I know, like, a lot of times, like, McDonald's, for the longest time, they didn't have any new sauces for their nuggets or anything. And I don't eat McDonald's very often, but, like, as far as I can remember, they had the same sauces for, like, 20 years straight. So this is, like, it's nice to have something different. Mm -hmm. Um... And then they have the signature sauce too that just recently came out. But oh, yeah. can we all agree that their ranch is the shittiest ranch of all time? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Gotta get you. Bojangles ranch. <laughs> yeah. Plus they give Bojangles has got like stingy shakes ranch as well. Plus, plus they're stingy. That. I will say they weren't too stingy. They gave us a lot of sauces, but they didn't give us a lot of variety. They're like they probably gave oh. us the, what they had the most of is what it looks like. That's kind of the deal here. You know, I requested five different sauces. I got three. Okay. So I mean, I they're probably close to close. We too. we ordered 40, 40 nuggets though. Yeah. So. Well, I waited, you know, 20 minutes. Do they not do the 50 piece anymore? No, they don't. That's at least. I mean, it's probably cheaper many. to get two, tw two 20s anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's five dollars. It's not that bad, actually. I do think it was really neat that with the Szechuan sauce, you know, they listened to the community and actually reacted. In some yeah, way. I think restaurants should do that more often in general. Yeah. Actually, that would, you know, it's still really popular. Clearly, they were sold out when you went to get it. So, I mean, it's still clearly popular. Yeah. All right. Well, if you would like to see other food reviews on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. I'm Special K. I'm Prairie Dog. And I'm the Mingo. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.